So you got them. I also did pull for Ruin May and I did get her and I actually got a really lucky pull. <laughs> Because in one temple, I actually lost my 50 50 but got Ruan May anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I did get five, two five stars in one temple. <laughs> I really did get lucky. And it also is a, like um, the 50 50 I lost to someone I do not still have yet. Um... This is like, I screenshotted it. That was my poll. <laughs> I got Shepard and Rome in one. I will give all the luck I can give you if I could. Uh, just need to respond to something real quick. Give me a second. I did get Jabber, I did get Rome. And make it actually only missing one character now. And it's Himiko. <laughs> I still do not own Himiko. I also still have to get a play Genshin again. I haven't played it since the last stream. But like I still have like some time until the event is over, so this is web event. I'm uh, looking at web event later. Also, I don't know why. I really like the few quality of life changes star a bit for the last update again. The streamlined the daily reward process a bit, the streamlined the better path rewards a bit more. Also the new resources for like getting path materials. I really like these like few changes that you do from time to time. Also, you could give a little update on like my teams I've been building for Swamp Disaster. Because I wanted to like to build a team which is like fully focused on follow-ups. And this one's actually finished at the moment. All of them are built. All of them are like look like not mixed out on all of the traces. I don't have like that enough compasses for those. But as far as I can get them at least. I still gotta like test them out properly but we can do this in one of the runs. Uh, my dot team is also getting better. I'm still only like missing Hoho to finish her.
The only thing like I gotta do is like level up all of their relics. I do have, they do all have like already relics equipped, but not all of them are leveled yet. So this friend of mine. Have Once you I've seen my I'm actually gonna be like trying a swamp disaster again. If there's nothing pressing, let's take a walk. I wish you all a journey that... I don't know, just getting the day stuff out of the way, right? If there's nothing pressing, let's not. take a walk. Are there any under... Third are I guess. On their own, anyway. So... With the update came, like, a new, like, Trailblaze Continuance quest. And an event which we want to check out. And like, simulated universe, gold and gears, this game mode I'm also gonna like look into. So that's like the plan for the rest of the stream, like, until I go leave for dinner. Let's see how far we actually get. And we're gonna start with this quest here. Here's some good news. Once made a space station. Can we meet her? Ask her yourself. I called her in school room here to talk about some important matters. Come back when you're free and introduce yourself to her. That way she knows who's the person that's been testing simulated new workers. Remember to show run me some respect. You don't usually get any chances to meet her. Ron May. A name that's both new and familiar. I thought member four, Hoka Kakamon, had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, look who's here. You're back. <laughs> This is a summit between three geniuses. It's a special time. All departments are preparing to welcome distinguished guests from the Genius Society. Madame Ron May doesn't like fanfare and probably wouldn't appreciate a crowd to welcome her, so I asked the researchers to keep things simple. I took her to see the portraits of the Society members a few days ago. I wanted to have the researchers make one for her as well, but she declined the offer. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. As long as she's happy. I heard Miss Ron May like snacks and pastries, so I asked the researchers to prepare some traditional desserts from the blue. All of them seem to tickle her fancy. Also, I already have some seen some stuff about Ron May, and I'm sure if I just like misunderstood it. But are people like actually like connecting her to Croatia for some reason? At least, like, the character trailers give off some kind of vibe that she could have, like... At least from the concept, have similarities to Grajo, but yeah. Of course! Go find her yourself! She borrowed the phase flame to do some research as soon as she got here. I haven't seen a trace of her since. Miss Ron May is the very image of a scholar. I heard she once took a little vacation on a desert planet. By the time she left, she'd miraculously created a boom in the local ecology. She just wanted somewhere uninhabited to experiment with her life spiral system. Ron May is certainly very talented, but she hardly interacts with anyone. She lives like a hermit. Pity. 
Anyway, what more needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herda's research partner, hmm? Hurry up and head out! Huh? See if you can find her. I'm not sure, but she doesn't seem to get around much. She spends most of her time between the Master Control Zone and the Railway Platform. Maybe you can start your search there. No, we are getting a message from her. You already know me. Who is that? You talk also to the face to the cool. What? Ah, take ultimate to the face. Wow, is that a silly pun? Okay, alright, let's build. What looks like we need for some cheese and noodles. I think it's in the chat. Where am I coming to the space station? It's already here. Okay, this is just like gossiping researchers. Well, they are like kind of stupid names, actual people give themselves online, so. They kind of got it, but it got it wiped down quite well. Yeah, Oyrus does know their audience as well, after all. I do often do like some kind of meta jokes like this. There's someone next to the railway platform. And could she be... <laughs> I have a feeling we're on the right track. I'll check the data when I get back. <laughs> um, that's a weird way to re Hello. meet someone. I hope I didn't startle you. This is a work habit of mine. Using touch to open my senses and letting the details of your biological existence flood into my brain helps me understand your construction as a living organism. Such is the basis of deconstruction and reconstruction. Do not be concerned. You are very healthy. In fact, impeccably so. A perfect experimental specimen. I like perfect experimental specimens. I already do not like where this is going. <laughs> yes, I'm happy to meet you too. We've met before in the simulated universe. <laughs> I expect the views here had me lost in thought. But also with the same explanation, please. <laughs> They will just like look at you like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't usually go in and out of the space station and only discovered today that it was blessed with such calm, open views. It is a wonderful fit for the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossoms, sticky rice and frosting sugar. Come here, look, the blue planet is directly below us. It is so full of life. This dessert is very delicious. Here, take half. Delicious desserts remind people of how flowers look when they bloom. 
Ingest this dessert one bite at a time, and the sweetness will linger in your mouth. I hope you like it too. She hasn't seen that reaction so far. So, what do you think? I can certainly prepare more for you. It's become somewhat of a tradition to bring strawberry pastries when I visit Stephen Lloyd. His attendance seems quite dependent on them. Hmm, an outstanding dessert. Ten grams of cubed sugar, one dried and salt-preserved plum blossom. Baking and cooking are the same as nurturing a universe. The heat must be controlled, planning must be meticulous, and one must not panic. No matter what happens. I mean, why would I reject her ever? <laughs> she does seem quite nice, to be honest. Unfortunately, there are still too many people in the space station. The clamor is not fitting for desserts. By the way, do you remember what my research is about? No. My research area is short stories about toilets. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, is that answer out of the trailblazer? Huh? What's going on? What, what am I talking about? <laughs> I see. What a cute hobby. But remember, the next time something like this happens, it's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. If not, you'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. Let's try again. Now, what else would you like to ask? The dessert was tasty. I would like more. <laughs> wow. Why can't I say what I want to say? <laughs> you have quite the appetite. All right, I'll give you the recipe. It's not the first time, though, that we can't speak what we want to say. Like, actually, probably say what we want to. Actually, the last time we changed this was with, like, the ear boy, so... Come and have a walk with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post-dessert activity. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like in the no man's land I've entered to in the past. Can you imagine a completely lifeless world? From there, you can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Following its celestial trajectory, the great teal star illuminates an endless sea of white across both the sky and land. My mother and I navigated calm glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world and encountered many bizarre phenomena. It was like finding the single correct piece in a mountain of jigsaw pieces. The process was convoluted and unimaginably difficult, but it was touching and enthralling as well. My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please, don't be on edge. I bear no ill will. I haven't interfered with your linguistic faculties, such an act would be impolite. I merely made a minor adjustment. I'm gonna lie, she definitely does seem to like to talk. Even though, like, her they saying she's more like some kind of a hermit. <laughs> a few days ago, I made my interest in you known to Herta. My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on our interactions within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues, and I despise matters that escape my control. Therefore, I added anti-truth serum to this dessert. It will not harm you. However, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. Treat it as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. 
Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. I can also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. I will fulfill your every wish. Does that bother you? I believe we will be able to be frank with each other, but that needs time. <sighs> when I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention of member number 29 circle. I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number eight of the Genius Society. I don't know where it went wrong. They possess their own sentience, but are nowhere near geniuses. Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away and scattered all over the space station. Of course. I do not wish for Herta or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore, I'm hoping you can assist in recovering these little life forms. I do trust you. This has nothing to do with them. Besides, the more people involved, the more problems there will be. Right at point. <laughs> I mean, if you want to embarrass yourself with a bad joke, go ahead. The researchers are still treating these entities as visitors. I want to steer clear of making my presence known, so as not to cause undue disturbances. I entrust this to you. Once the little life forms are collected, simply find a proper place for them. The researchers in the Department of Ecology should know about this and provide you with suitable advice. Okay, so we're already being like a handyman for Rome. Eh? Of course, this doesn't take long. Well, uh, Time to log off. I mean, uh, head back. What? A place where the space station stores dangerous experimental results? Okay, that one really was quite bad. Why would anyone want to know that? Wait, did someone send you here to try to get things out of me? I'm not doing any private business on the space station. I have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places. And I certainly haven't sold any old junk rare treasures or discarded curios or anything like that. <laughs> I'm not hiding anything at all. You're the sneaky one. What do you want? You're the suspicious one. <laughs> I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now, out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. And now it's in my video for everyone to see. <laughs> if you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll understand. There's so many people. And this seems to be the place. <laughs> hey, guess what I got my hands on? What on the street is that this is the downgraded version of Rame's life cultivation formula. It says 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of Starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor for Madame Yu Chintu. 
Rumor has it that it once created a talking chair. Not a particularly intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? I don't feel like those... Like... Yeah, you're not measuring the stuff with those kind of things, but okay. Let's give it a shot, shall we? First things first, we need to pick up the ingredients. Hmm. We need to add some other good stuff in, yeah, but don't go overboard. Making <laughs> high cube. Mm. And now we mix them together. <laughs> Wait, it says on the recipe, Ron May makes different expressions when nurturing life. Yikes, take a look at what you just cultivated. Is this a cow sack? Milk almond life form. Has it candy trees inside of him? What the fuck is this? I heard Madame Ronme is very picky when it comes to snacks. Uh, do you know what her favorites are? I don't know about her, but I love fermented herring. <laughs> so, I really can't say anything about her. Did I ask about your favorites? Also, that's disgusting. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately rejected. <laughs> Molten cheese tart is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Its positive mood has influenced us all. What's our slogan again? One, stop complaining, change your attitude, and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the flow of negative energy. Two, energize yourself, increase your capacity for action, and walk on the path of a molten cheese tart's absolute conviction. Why do I feel like most of these weasers here are actually kind of stupid? Our creed, molten cheese tart is the best. Oh, praise be. You don't know? Molten cheese tart is Madame Ron May's top fan. This is how it preaches. Those who offer their love are expressing admiration and affection for Miss Ron May. Oh, let me tell you something. Mr. Scrooge's followers are all very logical, but they're just awaiting the arrival of the mechanical aristocracy. Hm. Since you're so interested, I'll tell you how to secure an audience with the honorable molten cheese tart. You'll need to work hard to get there. Do I even want an audience with him? You need to plaster hearts wherever Madame Ron May has been. If you're sincere enough, the honorable molten cheese tart will show itself. <laughs> uh... Uh. Oh. to do that. Looks like I need more I need to put down. another one of those.
Ron May likes to listen to the space station radio during her research. <sighs> Some of us younger researchers are her super fans. We're always scanning different frequencies to find out what her tastes are. Do you know her favorite tunes by any chance? No idea. I just listen to comedy skits. So, I really can't say anything about her. As expected. You look like you belong at a comedy skit yourself. Ha! Huh. Both wall bragging. Funny, I guess. Why is a sack that's looking like a cow with apparently sweets inside it barking like a dog? I feel like you must still question this game any longer. Ron May, member 81 of the Genius Society, a resounding name in science and the veritable epitome of life form cultivation. Researchers here have heard so much about her for so long. But once she arrived on the space station, she just took over everything. And what did Madame Hurt to do? Absolutely nothing. Yes, she's treating this place like her backyard. She's leaving her research notes all over the floor. The end result? Everyone's obsessed with getting their hands on them. <laughs> well. Um, so this is the little life form Ron May made? Humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <gasps> what are you frozen in place for? Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. That's okay. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia beacon. Oh, come on. How much must stupid cat is get? What the fuck? Wakaka! I'm a genius. A genius among geniuses. Yep. I would also immediately activate it. That was way too risky. <laughs> oh, Molten Cheese Tot says Madame Ronme has finally recognized my ingenuity. Molten Cheese Tot says, does Madame Ron May recognize me as a masterpiece? You're far from a masterpiece. <coughs> Molten Cheese Tot says, Madame Ron May still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic Molten Cheese Tot. There's a kind of attachment reserved for the creator. To the world, you are but one person. But to me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madame Ron May. What am I even watching right now? This feels like a fever dream. Hey, you! Yes, you! Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? You should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of grade bean paste, would we? You heartless dessert! <laughs> I almost forgot. I can't say anything about Ron May. You! Shh! Quiet! Oh, the honorable molten cheese tart may have a crispy exterior, but deep down inside, it's incredibly sensitive and delicate. What is even crispy about this? It's just like looking like a fluffy sack of nothingness. <laughs> With a silly face on it, for whatever reason. It's working so hard just to get Madame Ronmay's attention! 
With Agendi, it was only like, okay, Agendi's character was weird. And the whole thing kind of did not make sense. But this is just silly and stupid. You see, the honorable molten cheese tart has always been fighting against gray bean paste in terms of flavor. The honorable molten cheese tart is a firm believer that people's lives need to be optimistic. And why does he keep chewing off my ear? I don't even want to talk to him. <laughs> he just interjected himself into the conversation and just is rambling off for a while, for how knows so long. They both hope to receive Madame Ron May's recognition and have been working so hard. Of course. It's not like we have any followers of gray bean paste here. Uh, all the ones who came here to stir up trouble have been converted by us. They went from refusing molten cheese tart to loving it. Desperate is the wrong word here. This is called conceptual annexation of taste. Mm, it's genuinely puzzling. Despite molten cheese tart's remarkable qualities, why hasn't Madame Ron May acknowledged it? It's clear that it yearns for her love. Love from the creator to her creation? Familiar love? Doesn't sound right. Romantic love? Definitely not. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. Remember, as long as love is your compass, you're on the right track. And in the wise words of the Honorable Bolton Cheese Tart, Love must be shouted from the rooftops. I just like want to pick up the sack right now and like put it over his uh, head so he just like shuts up. Did that, that depends if the honorable Todd agrees to it. <laughs> The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has agreed. You can throw the certain monsters in here. Isn't this just a trash can which looks somewhat like a toilet? This looks like a miniature toilet uh, disguised as a trash can. Okay. Wait, it, it literally is a toilet. Uh. And it's too small. I think I should read this. It seems resentful for being an unqualified life form. It seems eager to achieve great things. It wants to fully embrace its own philosophy and is inviting you to join in. Into the toilet? Go fuck off, please. I have to be firm and believe it. this is the best place for it.
just flush it away, please. Run may slit alive one was ruthlessly flushed down a drawn. It was pre transported to the storage zone. <sighs> I already need the pipes for. Okay, no, it's uh, it was a teleporter. Uh, I'm not gonna question it. That was a progress. Sorry to interrupt. Come back first. An emergency came up. That requires your help. You're here. Herta called Skrulam and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. And now? I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. I don't want Herta to worry herself over these frivolous matters, even though she probably wouldn't care anyway. Just in case, I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. Do I? Help me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you. Don't pry too much and keep your expressions in check. You still don't know the reason why we actually supposed to join it, but okay. All right, let's go. You're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. It's good to see you, sir. Affirmation. This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Hmm. Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. Let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. You wish to kick Steven out? No, of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. Look, I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have the chance to be involved in this decision-making anymore. Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yes, a fifth genius. The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar will definitely get a response. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? That'd be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. For some reason I'm surprised that her is such a low number, but I think you should already should know about it, just forget. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. A hard pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal-free. What about you, Chingtu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Can we ask him to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be long and boring. There's no need to take up other people's time. Of course! You brought him in after all. It's up to you. All right. Let me walk you out. Why were we here to begin with? And what the heck is this? 
seems like a programming error. <sighs> this fragment of Ruan Mei. Have you seen it in the simulated universe before? Do we? I don't think so. It's probably an isolated glitch. <sighs> Fine. I'm used to turning a blind eye to these things. It makes life easier. I am curious, though. Are you gonna keep it, Ronmei? I probably will. Records indicate he likes this occurrence. All right, I agree. As long as it helps you with your research, you can do whatever you want. Come along. I'll see you out. What's wrong? You're not leaving. Female wears a fashionable scarf. I find her rather fascinating. That was a short description. The air in the space station has a pleasant quality. Affirmation. Knowledge flows within it. Oh. It is not what it was. I forgot. I forgot how to update my stream stuff. Dr. Primitive's true identity is not known to me. His previous transgressions against humanity lead some to conclude he may be an inorganic entity. Affirmation. All beings, organic or otherwise, should value peace. It appears I was overthinking things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her, after all. Thankfully, it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. I see that you've recovered the life form in the Master Control Zone. Thank you. Well done. No, you misunderstand. While Herta is tied up in meetings, you might find it more convenient to roam the space station. There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the stars, or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, it is no longer open to the public. And now my headache is stored there. I mean... So far we only have done weird stuff. She gave me permission and said no more. I'm giving you my access card. Give me your hand and I'll input your fingerprint into it. Stay vigilant, Assistant. Should you come across a threat you can't handle, just alert me. I'll come to your aid no matter what. Remember, there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my headache is stored. Once you're back, come find me on the railway platform. Then you'll understand everything. Rame has like such a weird flow to her way of speaking and explaining stuff. Time to log off. I mean, uh, head back. I just quickly like get lost for some reason whenever she tries to say anything. Even though she's like not really saying that much complicated things. What would a sealed zone look like?
about the robots. Was that that supposed to jump scare me? This felt more silly than like actually like trying to be scary in any way. So we can investigate? Sure. Something I can find here. Uh, doesn't really look like it. Just my manuscripts. Your chest. up with this unit it looks different from the one in the master control zone buzz madam herta open zone buzz to welcome alien species galactic visitors high risk zone buzz service staff inorganic life forms buzz permission status madam ron may permissions granted madam herta fine as long as it keeps her happy, Buzz. Yes. <laughs> okay. Class one clearance zone, Buzz. Many esteemed guests, Buzz, may include dangerous persons, Buzz. Storage for Madame Herta's dangerous curios, Buzz. Madame Ron May's cultivated life forms, Buzz. Welcome, Buzz visitor. How can I help? Fry leftover rice, Buzz. Dit. Fry leftover rice, Buzz. Welcome, visitor. What do you need, Buzz? Madam Ron May, Buzz. Alien species, Buzz. And we'll say in species. That is all. Hey, this is so like those I cut it from the gotcha. Why are they always asking for gifts? Hey, more preserved trade, I guess. I think the other ones are going to be one that was after before and actually get to it. I want to check what's in the other direction first. Oh, and you're still here. Fry leftover rice, Buzz. 
fry, leftover rice. Okay, it's Buzz. still frying rice, I guess. You do you, boy. Oh yeah, it's not very really here as it looks like. It's temporarily closed. I just want to be temporarily close. Yeah. It's just an empty pot. The kindling for the face flame is fascinating. Unfortunately, before the research could be completed, it vanished. I've initiated new attempts. The growth status of the two samples this time is promising. I incorporated personal taste preferences into the concept, but I'm uncertain about the outcome of such an action. They simultaneously possess two sets of emotional traits. They are at once cute, weak, sentimental, and sensitive. Yet are also fierce, instigating, demanding, and confident. Interestingly, they also possess a kind of inclination. A yearning for... their creator. It manifests as a natural, inherent emotion, similar to that of a baby towards its mother. Life towards sustenance, or the peculiar bond between humans. Huh? What's that sound out there? Hmm. Hey. And we're gonna do a short toy break here because I need to go to the toilet. So, be your bed. And then we'll actually be checking out that sound. And I'm already awake. Is there anything I can, like, find ways of, like, an old Sony, maybe? Nope. This is the headache Hurangbe mentioned? Is this... What is this supposed to be? I mean, it kind of looks cute, but... What are you? It's just a different flavor. Here's what has ashy pace.
looks deeply distressed and crying profusely. I'm not one of Rome's recognized works. <laughs> <laughs> the poor VA of the trailblazer had to voice that. <laughs> Too much negative energy. Don't like negative energy. <laughs> Rose! <laughs> it seems deeply emotional, and there's a glint of resentment in his eyes, as if the dreams were once made. It's acknowledgement. Why am I a failure? You guys had ruins Ruin May's creation, which appears to still be waiting sadly for Ruin May to come get it. A end of compassion tucks at your arm. What's that noise? Huh. Something broke out. <laughs> uh, follow me. It'll be okay. I need to find a place for this little one. That sound seems to be from that locked room. How do I get in? Oh. There's some kind of option room here. You sent on tip to trying to read the data and figures on the screen yet you will within your vision access only blank walls. This is kind of even more fitting since like Ujuran is smaller than Yosha character. Okay, it's just like humming something. Oh, hello there. See you bastard. A quick divination. And awaken. <laughs> More enemies. Time for a plan. <laughs> There's always a week. Lend me your strength. It came together. of the past it came together I'll end your misery
all things shift in divination. <laughs> well, I see through you. Converge and awaken. <laughs> More enemies. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to do it either, though, to be honest. I've like never done it before. There's always a weakness. <laughs> All things human creations. <laughs> Afraid of me. I'll end your misery. Hmm. It's a puzzle in your house for the reason. So I can't access the room yet for whatever reason, I guess. I have to... Ah! It's like from the other side of the elevator. I see. Together as one! This combat needs up. Hm. This is double speed. I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> All things shift in divination. <laughs> oh, they have more of those. I never imagined there'd be so many of them. They're kind of beautiful. More than like that cow sack thing. Yeah, you. You are here too? Uh, seems like this is the other end of that one way path. Can I just kick it out again, please? Oh, first time actually, like, ooh, it's much like that. I'm gonna show me. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend, crush them. <laughs> Lend me your strength. And awaken! Don't mess with me! I'm troublesome. <laughs> what a headache. Who's next? I'll end your misery. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Divination. <laughs> I think you could look check that out. You are here too. Uh, seems.
Life can exist in thousands of different forms, which means the form itself has no purpose. These life forms are very advanced in their own concepts, and can even trigger chain reactions such as synesthesia. But that is not what I desire. I'm starting to feel lost. Perhaps the question, what is the essence of life? Never had an answer. Number one, Sandar. Have you ever felt this loss? Or resigned? Yeah, because it's like going in first because that's just the only boss over here. Took the bait. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Who's next? <laughs> this battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Can I have fun this time? Time for a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> this is double speed. Afraid of me. Time for a plan. <laughs> Enter the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! What a headache! I'll free you from your chains! Disappear among the sea of butterflies! Illusions of the past! More enemies. Together as one. All things in the human creation. Our legs, I don't even need that. Life is countless and varied in form. I firmly believe in that. Its beauty is like a myriad of flowers, and I want to pluck the one that never wilts. The patterns of all things always have complicated and enchanting exteriors while their inner essences remain simple and plain. If we were to trace things back to their roots, just one equation would be enough to solve the confusion of all life. Ever since I was a child, I've always delighted in observing aspects of microscopic creatures, such as the speed with which slime molds devour objects. I have also gazed far and wide across the macroscopic world, investigating the progress of the universe up to this day. It was all very simple. I 
wish to discover the true essence of life, something that all individuals possess unknowingly, whether it is the materialism of their existence or an unknown entity beyond corporeal realms. To avoid blind faith in science, I cautiously raised a query. Would Ram May be able to peel away external influences? Just like pinpointing a coordinate, would she be able to uncover life's most primordial and beautiful form of existence? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach, and that is... Mm, okay. I'm not sure where this is going to lead, but I am. Oh, we got another robot. Oh, and a pot that's broke. The duration of sunlight exposure is a crucial factor affecting mood. Basking in starlight has been proven to be an effective method to alleviate negative emotions. Sounds fitting. Accommodate the issue paste. Okay. Stay here for a bit. Did something just open? Why did it open the door like it was a piece of a puzzle? <laughs> this is so silly. Permissions. Please submit your ID. Buzz. Permissions granted. Buzz. Select from the below services. 1. Check historical incubation records. 2. Inorganic lifeform companionship chat service. This function has been damaged. Buzz. Yeah, well. Is this? thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach and that is an emanator i cannot comprehend what an emanator is scholars view them as the executors of the eon's power so when did it begin and at what point did they become closer to the eon than any other life form at first i tried to create a genius i failed that question has no solution yet, and a long journey of discovery still lies ahead. However, erudition isn't the only path in the universe. If we set logic aside, would there be more primitive and pure emanators on other paths? Of course there would be. Daisy Ronda. I was able to see the beginning and end of the swarm disaster through the simulated universe. Obtain data on the Imperator and Sectorum and their descendants. Replicate them, nurture them, and create a brand new scientific discipline. It is a logical decision. I will certainly succeed. The entity that I reconstruct will bloom into a life never before seen. We should be locked out of this quest if we like, actually have not canon canonically beaten Swarm Disaster yet. Because for, like, for that you would actually like, have to play through it, but I just like expect you to have done that. Will Herta and Skrulem like this experiment? Most likely not. Therefore, before they realize what I am doing, I must hurry my work, as well as find a fitting assistant. Permission granted. Buzz. Select from the below services. 1. Check visitor records. 
2. Open incubator entrance. Madam Ron May. Buzz. Alien species. Buzz. Man with plaster head. Buzz. This seems like there's something new. What are like these uh, visitor records? Permission granted. Buzz. That sounds coming from above. It's just no who's that? Huh. There's someone in the distance. Oh. Hmm. Here, a genius move. And how will you counter it? <sighs> Only an idiot would ask such a question. Just move this here. Hmm. Is he playing against himself? <sighs> Distressed. Something the matter? <laughs> if that's the case, you better get thinking. Are you waiting for a sign? Time is ticking. Descend via the elevator. What you seek is there. Have you considered whether the answer to your question will be of any relevance to our current predicament? If a question is of no help, then don't ask it. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. <sighs> Never mind. Allow me to clarify something. I know exactly who you are. And I'm aware you are in Ron May's employ. This was not my intended destination. I just happened to find my way here during my visit and saw what she was up to. My goals are roughly aligned with yours. Since you're here, I won't intercede. But should you fail, I will be forced to prevent some avoidable misfortunes. That's all you need to know. Just two paragraphs. Very effective communication saying those lines was ineffective communication because i can't bear to see idiots of course they wouldn't want to see me either the real ron may's creation is hidden in the giant incubator below us go take the elevator and bear witness to this genius masterpiece But there's no interesting backdrop on this end.
I'm kind of already can't expect what's going to appear you now. Clone? How can that be? Oh, that's nice music. Together as one. Troubles. More enemies. This combat. This is double speed. Time for a bug. <laughs> Who's next? You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Don't mess with me, Puss. I quit it. Time for a bug. <laughs> what a headache. This battle is unavoidable. To guard and defend, crush them. This combat needs a pimp. This is double speed. I'll free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies, illusions of the past. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. As one human creations, you took the bait. No matter, you'll destroy the space station. I will just keep these ads around, they're not doing much anyway. Double speed. 
Lend me your strength. I'll free you from disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. And uh was unable to sustain its own existence and vanished as if it had never been born. Hm. The threat is over. Time to get going. Hmm. Is it over? I... I need to get some answers out of Romney. What are these two robots you doing out? But I still like these two rooms here, though. I was supposed to carry that. Maybe I can check it out once I'm done with just like story quests and it's getting a way to Geniuses is over. As for the future of the simulated universe, that conclusion isn't important. What's important is your task. You look upset, correct? I regret my actions. There's no defending what I've done. Time and again, my experiments have fallen short, and they've always yielded predictable results. I made a clone, but it doesn't hold a candle to the emanator. Exactly as predicted. 56 seconds on the dot. Restrained by time and place, its code of life could only be considered an incomplete attempt. I managed to replicate the moment it was born. However, it would soon disappear and be reduced to particles. Like every living being, it inevitably faced its demise as it journeyed towards the end. I find no fault in that. However, even the briefest life should have meaning. I want to know the limits of its capacity. It will indicate how far I've gone in a field completely incomprehensible to me. And it was a minuscule step, just as I had predicted. Indeed, this is how I keep the distractions at bay. I have to admit that research once made me obsessive. That wasn't a good period in my life. Though now I navigate it much more smoothly. Well, I was like... I'm sorry, it is again like, yep, this just happened. Yep, we know it would happen. We just kind of messed with you, so yeah, just go along with it. 
I must admit, I'm not fond of scenarios where everything aligns perfectly with my expectations. An experiment should have its unforeseen twists. That's where the joy lies. Even the most predictable storylines can have their pleasant surprises. I have to admit that these little ones born in the process sometimes move me. I see a human-like response in them. It is a concept completely opposite to that of divinity. They have emotions. Emotions may be either positive or negative. However, the love rooted in the depths of their heart is eternal and unchanging. They're still a long way from becoming geniuses and are therefore unable to discern whether this love is one of friendship, romance, or familial love. That being said, can even geniuses tell the difference? I cannot, at least. I do not understand what love is, and cannot respond to their feelings. Do you believe my actions were wrong? There's no need to tell me your answer. I just felt like asking the question. How should I take care of them? Perhaps leaving them at the space station is the best choice. Do I seem irresponsible? I'm sorry. I am often at a loss as to how to face my own creations. The effects of the anti-truth serum will also wear off. If others mention me to you in the future, you can answer however you like. Or even pretend you never knew me. After all, your memory of me will soon dissipate like smoke. And why is that? Over time, hidden truths tend to surface. Past traumas, which I'd rather leave behind, have made me skeptical about trusting anyone but myself. If I do not want a secret revealed, the most foolproof way is to destroy it. The anti-truth serum will make you forget the brief period we spent together. It won't take effect immediately. It is a slow, intangible process. Like the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossom, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Perhaps you'll remember someone performed selfish experiments on the space station, but you will no longer remember their identity. Perhaps we'll meet again someday, but you won't be able to connect me with the recollection. That way, the connection between life forms will be erased. Friendships, secrets, grudges, lies, all will disappear. It will make our lives more. Relaxing. It's kind of sad, to be honest. And I don't think it would like actually make it more relaxing, as she says. I believe you. Screwlem will stay on the space station for a while longer. He and Herta still have problems they need to solve. As for me, I'm leaving soon and won't bother with goodbyes. Do you still remember the no man's land I mentioned? I'm considering a solo trip back there during my research downtime, just to see how things are. I miss member number 55 Yu Qingtu sometimes. She used to always make something delicious for me to drink every time we parted ways. I hope I won't meet member number 4 Polka Kakamond. That would be quite troublesome. Who knows when the next gathering of geniuses will be? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? I find that difficult to answer. I thank you, Mr. Assistant. If fate allows and you're interested, upon our next meeting, we could journey to no man's land and traverse its tranquil glaciers. Though I suppose it wouldn't be no man's land anymore. What a conundrum. <coughs> oh.
a squeaky drum when he's jumping. Yeah, the room may supposed to turn out. That. Uh, we'll finish with name as well. Ah. I think I could like this uh, visitor dialogue for. wonderful. Through these windows, you can lose yourself in the peaceful starry sky. Is that so? <laughs> I can relate. Trailblazing across the vast unknown must be quite the experience. <sighs> I once hoped to capture a slice of space and dissect it, to truly understand the core essence of our galaxies and planets. I imagine a slice of clarity, ethereal in its transparency. Picture a sliver made up of beautiful dust, gases, and tiny specks, twirling around your finger like a captivating plum-colored mist. It reminds me of a ring. I imagine crafting it, and then adding a bracelet of beads to complement its soft, lustrous glow. Thank you. I hope there are new discoveries to be made each time I visit. Okay. So the this is done. <laughs> so I need the help of something. I forgot. Many women recreated some interesting little critters on the space station. I accommodated them temporarily in the seclusion zone. And now would like you to nurture those little ones. Among the people I know, you showed as the best match. Also, these things Madame Ray left behind is kind of related to you. With Mrs. Coulomb's help, I upgraded the robot programs. The helper robot will assist you with the entire way, of course. I'll be keeping an eye on you. The goddess. Um, okay, what is this? Well, let's actually do this first. One's hexachromatic position is always in flux. Planning is paramount. How does Wade and his team? They should have invited People Breaker to the group. What the fuck? Uh... What's this about again? Good evening, Madame Herta fans. This is an urgent broadcast. The great Madame Herta, member 83 of the Genius Society, has been targeted in an attack at the space station. Her current whereabouts are unknown, with no group having stepped forward to claim responsibility. Many heritors are upset at the ineptitude of upper management, having issued strong protest and condemnation. The fuck? <laughs> okay. They're like totally overreacting in like 
a completely different way. Like, not different, uh, wrong way. This is such a stupid chat. This was a premeditated attack. Conclusion. Their target was the space station. But their strategies are still unknown to us. I... That's right. Which is precisely why we need him. The last to lay eyes on Herta's puppet before the attack was him. Hmm. And you are... This is Dr. Ratio of the Intelligentsia Guild, a delegate from the IPC. He's only just woken up. Dazed. He may need a few pointers. What's with this melody when ah, else we cross paths again. Do you remember me? <laughs> of course. Why would you? Memory is such a fickle thing, after all. Mr. Trailblazer, you must have many questions. Please be patient. Asta will explain it all to you. You probably know the gist of things already. A few system hours ago, one of Madame Herta's puppets was attacked by an unknown perpetrator. We don't know the location of the puppet, and we can't pinpoint its signal. No. The attack happened on a base outside the station, beyond the surveillance camera's range. <sighs> She's away on a visit. This issue didn't seem to trouble her much. She received an invitation from the IPC before the attack occurred. Ah, the technology department. Charming little place, isn't it? Madame Yaboli does possess some semblance of competence, but her subordinates? Ugh. Oh, they're a riot. Brimming with enthusiasm, yet utterly devoid of intellect. It's as if evolution halted prematurely for them. They want to start some new collaborations with Herta, and have graciously extended an invite for me to play the role of science consultant. It's delightfully amusing. I can't wait to witness firsthand how these geniuses from these so-called Super Smart Club squander the IPC's vast resources. <laughs> However, this attack was timed a little too well. I can't help but wonder if someone leaked this information and the attackers seized the opportunity. Herta's aloof response to these juvenile provocations? Hmm. Almost as intriguing. What a delightful little puzzle. I've long heard that you're one of the best researchers in the guild, Dr. Ratio. We are honored to have your assistance. Save your flattery. Time is hardly a luxury we can squander. To debate the merits of mere mortals in the company of an actual genius? Quite the paradox, if you ask me. Uh, excuse me, you. Um, tell me. What were you doing the last time you saw that puppet? When was the last time you were supposed to have seen her? Uh, don't play the fool. Think. I think I was. 
I mean, the last time we saw it, it was together with Kurulam, actually. Oh, right. I need your help oh. with something else. That curio's gone missing, and I can't just forget about it. Go find it for me when you have the time. I'm sure you can manage that, can't you? Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an... It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Send me a signal when you see traces of it. I think she mentioned something important, but I can't remember. If only there were some hints, then maybe... Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ask Asta if you want someone to help you. My memory is kind of hazy. What did I do after that? This is what I recall before I met Herda, but... I can't remember some of the details. Let me try to remember the conversation with Asta. Hmm... A curio that's alive, but doesn't have a body. Sorry, but nothing comes to mind. Maybe the researchers at the Departments of Ecology or Insight may have an idea? Hinkle and are around here somewhere. I'd suggest you ask them about it. Asta seems to have mentioned two names. Two researchers from the Departments of Ecology and Insight. Those despicable villains are distorting the truth online. Ugh. If I discover who's behind this, they're gonna wish they'd never crossed me. A curio that's alive but doesn't have a body? Isn't that just a jinx? Oh, nowadays people call them wubbaboos? Right. Okay. Well, I might be the Department of Ecology head, but I'm not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to curios. Adler would be of more help, but he's been investigating some paranormal phenomenon. I haven't seen him all day. I must say, it's a little embarrassing for the space station to be in such disarray while guests are visiting. <laughs> Indeed. We've been through a huge crisis and are still recovering. But there are some who are trying to exploit the chaos to agitate the workforce. People are growing more and more distrustful of the management here. It's probably turned into a big headache for Asta, too. <sighs> Never mind, I shouldn't be telling you this. It's something that we researchers need to resolve ourselves. Pretend I didn't say anything. Adler, Adler. Right, then I ran into Arlen. Adler was with him. He's probably having some technical issues with the mission to castles. Okay. I don't want to find us curio. That's a. Okay. And was that. Adler was with Arlen. They were involved in some sort of incident. What? He went to the scene alone with Peppy? How could you let him? Uh, calm down, Brother Arlen. I, I know you're upset. We're, we're walking the dog. It doesn't look like it. We're, we're having a walk. Doesn't look like it. <sighs> like I said, we're walking the dog. Wow. So I'm the dog? Yep, you are. They seem <laughs> to be hiding something. <clears throat> Is there something you need? Oh, really? What a coincidence. We're looking for him, too. That kid sure is brave, running straight to the scene on his own. Uh, uh, 
no, no danger. Of course he's not in danger. Yeah, so bad at lying. <sighs> what the fuck? Brother Arlen, I, I can't keep this up anymore. <sighs> Can you leave the talking to me next time? <sighs> Let's walk and talk. Why are you looking for Adler? A lost curio. I see. He'll be able to help. Let's hope you. The fragmentum in this area is very unstable. Over there. As I thought, he's in trouble. Let's go. Our fortune is clouded. Converge and awaken. Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> Don't mess with me. What? Next, <laughs> troublesome. Lend me your strength. I'll end your misery. I'll free you. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. A quick divin. <laughs> wants to ask you something about curios. I'll leave you to it. Adler, Peppy's in your hands now. Oh, about that investigation I asked for. Don't worry. I think I figured something out. Catch you later. Why is this just like throwing out set up type so, of TV? Which curio do you want to know about? That's all you got? Too abstract. Well, there's beauty in the abstract, I guess. Have you asked the Department of Ecology head? Huh, she's not wrong. But that doesn't feel entirely right either. Huh? What did I say? Huh. Now that you mention it, I have a wild hypothesis. But it needs verifying. Let's call it a day. Wait for me. I'll be in touch. Mm, okay. Adler seems to have gotten a lead, but... What was the information I forgot? And from whom? The personal face and memories, some content will appear as da da da. The conversation is for your memories. This chance will restore right on taste again. Let's go over it from the start. I may have overlooked something. Right. Asta mentioned another name. Mm. Mm, what can I actually do with this? My memories of Arlen and Adler are hazy. I need to remember the other person Asta mentioned. I could make, go back to one of the other memories, okay. Curio that's alive but doesn't have a body. Sorry, but nothing comes to mind. How's it going? Did you find the information you're after? I see. Is that what Hinkle and 
think. At least that counts as a lead. See? My researchers are pretty outstanding. Anxious, me? <laughs> Is it that obvious? After the Legion's invasion, the space station has been under constant scrutiny. Physical damage can be easily repaired, but it takes a long time to heal the wounds in people's hearts. Some researchers have been questioning the management and security of the space station ever since the invasion. As soon as I get why they actually like making us go through like this memory chase minigame. It feels kind of unnecessary. Things had settled down a bit with the reconstruction efforts, but the researchers' disappearances have rattled them again. Yes, four researchers have inexplicably disappeared in a matter of days. No exit logs, no traces. Vanished. People were just starting to regain their footing after the catastrophe. I didn't want panic to spread, so I suppressed the reports and told the security department to investigate in secret. However, as you can see, it's hard to keep secrets in a sardine can like this. In it. Rebuilding trust is harder than establishing it in the first place. I'm concerned someone's pulling strings to sway public opinion. Anyway, the most important thing is to get to the bottom of the disappearances. That's okay, but thank you for the offer. Uh, aren't you helping Madame Hertha with something already? Oh, by the way, I heard about the thing mentioned, and I'll look into it too. I'll find a way to solve the problem for the space station. So I did consult someone else other than Hinkle. The only thing I remember is that they're from the Department of Insight. The other person should be from the Department of Insight. I need to remember who it is. What's that again? Not actually doing anything. It's just like locks to stuff. The other person should be from the Department of Insight. I need to remember who it is. Identifying that person is crucial. It could be the key to making sense of everything. Hey, what brings you here, Rich? It's been so long. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. It's all taken care of. As long as the money's there, it's all good. Here's the account you asked for. It's legit and secure. Allowing you to connect straight to the internet. Uh huh. Sure. Can I help you with something? That is weird. Oh, you flatter me. I'm just a peddler doing a little business on the side. Small scale. Best left under the table. But if you ever make it big in the guild, don't forget your humble friend. Okay. Why are you doing shady businesses right in front of her to, and in, in her office? Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. Here too. My memories are just a jumbled mess of words. Did my memory piece together irrelevant information? Now I remember. The other person is Emily. She was at the base zone. What did Emily say? I say, what a wonderfully intelligent looking young lady. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. 
No need to be modest. At my age, you get a feel for intelligence. Though, I confess, I did hear someone say you were the shining star of the Department of Insight. Uh huh. Sure. Can I help you with something? See this material here? People are so inconsiderate. How's someone like me supposed to make out the small print? I'm not getting any younger, and my eyesight is failing. Do you think you can... Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. Oh! Another smart-looking youngster. <laughs> Wonderful. It's about time we had some new recruits. Huh. Asta told you to find me? A curio that doesn't have a body but is alive. Isn't the Department of Ecology full of curio experts? That's got nothing to do with the Department of Insight. However, I've heard of such a species. A colleague who came back from a business trip said that the Sienjo Alliance has life forms like that. Oh, she's referring to Hideo Uh, don't get me wrong. I was merely relaying information. I didn't mean I'd help you. <sighs> the atmosphere on the space station has been getting stranger lately. It's risky taking sides. The Sienjo species Emily mentioned seems to be what inspired Adler. The disappearances Asta mentioned are likely related to Arlen's investigations, too. The Sienjo species Emily mentioned... I figured you'd come to me to uncover the truth. I'm sorry. The situation is very delicate. I can't say anything except that it's a secret mission. Just as I thought. I vaguely remember that Arlen said more. It's related to the thing I forgot. I'm sorry. The situation is very delicate. I can't say anything except that it's a secret mission. Well, how did you know? I see. Could you also tell that Lady Asta was feeling the pressure? I'll be honest with you. It's been tough. The surveillance didn't capture anything regarding the researcher's disappearance. There's only one clue. Adler observed that the automatic fire suppression system was momentarily activated around the time the disappearances occurred. That means that every victim's disappearance was accompanied by some inexplicable fire. When we made visits to the scenes, some of the witness testimonies seemed to agree with this. Sounds more like a Hebrew boy. The words they used were spontaneous combustion of the human body. Okay, that doesn't sound like a Hegelbar anymore. <laughs> I don't think they combusted humans. Have you asked the Department of Ecology head? Huh, she's not wrong. Huh? We can skip through this, maybe that's funny. Huh, she's not wrong. But that doesn't feel entirely right, either. Ah, that's right! They're called Heliobi! I guess you could say that Wubaboos and Heliobi are sort of like cousins. Both are types of energy life form. Huh, now that you mention it, I have a wild hypothesis. But it needs verifying. Let's call it a day. Wait for me. I'll be in touch. Spontaneous combustion of the human body. That's most likely the truth. I need to go over it from the start. 
Starting with the conversation I had with Herda. Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an... It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Send me a signal when you see traces of it. I think she mentioned something imp If only there were some hints. Then... Okay, that's not the one. Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an energy life form. It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Send me a signal when you see traces of it. That's not the point. I wouldn't be bothering with it if it didn't have something to do with the Genius Society. Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ask Asta if you want someone to help you. Mm, uh, okay. I was having with that one. I commend your stamina for recounting that interminable tale. You must be exhausted. My ears certainly are. So, to sum it up, the last time you laid eyes on Herta was in her office. She sent you on a wild goose chase with some trinket, the curio. After which you knew nothing else until Lady Asta contacted you. If that's the narrative you're sticking to, then indulge me. Who, pray tell, can substantiate this captivating drama? A second-hand account. She wasn't at the scene. Hearsay hardly counts as compelling evidence, now does it? Affirmation. We can ask her to herself. Well, if you lace up those boots and start sprinting now, you might just catch the IPC shuttle in four system hours. But as it stands, not a single soul can corroborate his story. Mr. Ratio, your style of questioning would seem to have a preconceived bias. Apologies. It's an unfortunate habit of mine. When one is immersed in academic research, skepticism comes far more naturally than belief. It is also the most efficient method, judging from my experience. Seeking answers with a negative hypothesis in mind is still valid research. It can still help us reach the truth. If he is truly innocent, we can clear his name with answers. Based on your story, you met with Herta because she specifically wanted you for an assignment. Mm. I remember now. Back then. Back then. It was actually helping. That's enough pretending. Based on your story, you met with Herta because she specifically wanted you for an assignment. And the assignment involves a curio that doesn't even have a name. Herta's collection. An endless trove of trinkets and baubles. And yet, she singles out one nameless ordinary curio? Hmm. It's hard for me to imagine she would treasure one curio so much. Sure. But you're the one saying the curio in question is ordinary. Say what you want to say. A correct observation, if I may add. Herta's collection. An endless trove of trinkets and baubles. The curio isn't the point. Herta was only addressing it because of its relation to the Genius Society. I would imagine the Curio is the creation of a genius. Affirmation, it holds some special meaning to Herta. Yes, that seems logically sound. Then you said you asked Asta for help with the lost Curio. 
However, she decided to hold her tongue until now? Mr. Ratio, it's because... I'm asking him, Lady Aster. Yeah, well. Your testimony went out the window the second you started being secretive. However, she decided to hold her tongue until now? I remember now. That's enough, however. So what's the story? Are you full of fanciful fiction? Or is Asta the one hoarding secrets like they're going out of style? I think so. The yeah, space station has been very distrustful of its higher management ever since the Antimatter Legion's invasion. Another severe incident would further intensify suspicion and cause great internal strife. Oh, so that explains why Lady Asta approved of my participation. After all, the Intelligentsia Guild's representative wouldn't be linked to the space station, but would still share the IPC's position. They wouldn't be partial to anyone, but would still act for the space station's benefit. Two birds with one stone. Researchers' disappearances, you say? Yes, I've heard the responsibility of sorting out that mess has been thrust upon Arlen, head of the security department. Clearly, though, it bears no connection to Herta's puppet being attacked. Cut the act. You're perfectly aware of the point I'm making. Correction, there may be a correlation. Researchers' disappearances, you say? Yes. I ran into Arlen when looking for Adler. Adler? A level two researcher. According to the Department of Ecology head, he knows more about curios than anyone else. He happened to be helping Arlen investigate the disappearances. Well, did he enlighten you? Adler seemed to have an idea at the time, but he never contacted me again. Researchers' disappearances, you say? Yes, I've heard there was- I remember now. That's enough okay, researchers' that's disappearances. You Clearly, though, it bears no connection to Herta's puppet being attacked. No. If I recall correctly, Asta said, one of Madame Herta's puppets was attacked by an unknown perpetrator. We don't know the location of the puppet, and we can't pinpoint its signal. Don't know the location. Isn't that the same as missing? She did say that, but then what? You need to provide evidence to show incidents are linked. There should be evidence. Arlen discovered something odd when he was investigating the disappearances. The space station's automatic fire suppression system was momentarily activated around the time the disappearances happened. Arlen mentioned that each victim disappeared due to spontaneous combustion. Huh. But there are no signs of a fire anywhere in the space station. That's what's so odd about it. But this information has an additional layer of importance. This may not be direct evidence, but if the system also recorded the fire suppression system activating when the puppet was attacked, then there's ample evidence to indicate that these two cases are linked. Oh. If these two incidents were caused by the same person, then the suspicion put on you would decrease, provided that this fire suppression record does exist in the system. We'll see in the main control room. Let's go. Uh, huh? What was that? What's going on now? Parator News Flash. This is an urgent broadcast. I repeat, this is an urgent broadcast. News has finally emerged regarding the attack on Madame Herta. The Annihilation Gang has claimed responsibility for the incident and warned of further activity. The Guild has expressed utmost condemnation. <laughs> the gods of the starry skies have abandoned the world. They give no thought to the masses. 
Only the wounded savior can bathe the world in the firelight of destruction. Yet always there are cowards trying in vain to reject their favor and escape the wounds. Flee then. Flee as far as you can. No matter the distance, annihilation will find you. Uh, what? This is... A declaration of war, and an announcement of what's to come. They have set their sights on you. The Legion's impact remains, and the Annihilation Gang is already paying a visit. It almost seems like this space station is more suited for the path of destruction than erudition. This Duke Inferno Ifrit is a life form that hails from Fatora. A world long since destroyed. His race, the ever-burning fire demons, regard Nanook as their emperor and savior, but the Eon has never cast their gaze upon them. A group of pitiful lunatics. I like Dr. Primitive's assessment of them. The value Nanook sees in the Annihilation Gang is perhaps far less than one might see in a child who deliberately broke a vase. That's that's a funny and interesting comparison. The fire demons have a cruel temper and instinctively ignite and destroy items. Ifrit is particularly evil and cruel, even among his kin. The Everflame Mansion he heads is even the arch enemy of the Japella Brotherhood, despite both groups belonging to the Annihilation Gang. Chapella Brotherhood? I've heard that name somewhere. On the Stellaron Hunters Wanted posters, they stand accused of inciting the Chapella Rebellion, the uprising that caused the downfall of the Brotherhood. The Chapella Palace crumbled in the scorching flames, and Ifrit's power has grown by the day ever since. Would you believe it would be merely a coincidence? Something similar is about to happen here. Spontaneous combustion? For him, it's as routine as me finding fault in everything. The disappearance of researchers and the puppet were all part of the plan. And after that, that video will soon circulate. And this station's fate? Flames. Nothing but flames. The destruction of trust. I'm afraid more than trust will be destroyed here. Yeah, let's get out all of the fire extinguishers we can find. You need to start acting now if you want to survive. You, come with me. You have a superior strategy? Pray tell. Do we set the two of them loose, turning whispered fears into full-blown pandemonium? If we did that, we'd be at a disadvantage. I'll stay here and try to contain the news as best I can. Please, investigate the issue quickly. One's hexagrammatic position is always in flux. Planning is paramount. Not good. This is serious. The security department will do whatever we can to help you. A list of the missing researchers and their details. Sure, but the security department already combed through their backgrounds and personal relationships. We didn't find anything odd. The Annihilation Gang are a group of diehard thugs. They might be attacking indiscriminately. A list of the missing researchers and their details. Okay. Yeah, Take it. Remember these names. Find a friend who's tuned into the gossip around here and tell them you want to know the relationship between these people. I don't know. That depends on your friend.
Why does she always want pictures of you, Mika? <laughs> you actually can find a lot of those drawn by other people. What else do you need me to do? Take me to the one who knows the most about curios within the Department of Ecology, if you would be so kind. <sighs> He... he disappeared, too. I didn't really notice at first. Adler's difficult to get a hold of at the best of times. But it's been a few system hours, and I still can't reach him. Even the surveillance cameras can't find any trace. The last time I saw him was in the Master Control Zone. He was with Wen Shirling from the Department of Implement Arts. Lead the way. You said Adler was on the verge of the discovery, yet couldn't confer his knowledge. Intriguing and frustrating, to say the least. If his disappearance is also related to the case here, then maybe he really did stumble upon something... important. True. The keywords that got Adler thinking were energy life forms. Duke Inferno is also an energy life form. Coincidence? We need to investigate this. You got a reliable like information that's work. That jerk, 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 jerk. Fine, disappear. I don't ever want to see your face again. Adler, he he disappeared. <laughs> acting really weird recently always researching stuff like spontaneous combustion supernatural activities he doesn't even answer me when i speak to him he, he was talking to himself what did he talk about he kept saying the word phrase phrase said I want him back. But if you want to find him, he was reading this booklet the last time I saw him. Don't tell me he actually like uh, misunderstood and it was phase and they're talking about a phase flame. Which was a thing in Ruin Maze story part. I don't know exactly what he's searching for, but I hope it can help you.
countenance suggests tragedy. So the researchers who disappeared were at the forefront of challenging management. Isn't that a curious puzzle piece? I finished browsing through this booklet while you were replying to messages. It recorded the lives of a few Genius Society members. I'd say it contains some interesting information. It's time to go back and chat with Lady Asta and Mr. Screwlum. I think she's gonna agree to this because this bit might just take a little bit. The fire demons of Fatora are ferocious and cruel by nature, but if you easily rose to the position of clan leader, and even amongst the fire demons, his flames belong to a special category. Many vicious incidents instigated by the Everflame mention upon similar eyewitness reports claiming that miscreants materialized from the inferno. Speculated if it's flame. Pretty much close of ass, but thank you very much. The fact that the Ifrit's frame may have inherited some ability other than burning, and that it's related to his origin. I've heard of a flame with similar properties that was difficult to capture because it kept shifting between phases. So my guess was the face flame was right. There's not much information about it, only one line that catches eyes. Burns through worlds, leaving numerous signs of flame behind. Ifrit it is perhaps one of its descendants. That's all I have. The demo for rated records is limited, I'm not sure if that was helpful to me. Come here, Toto. I want your bonus rewards. Convert and awaken. Huh. More enemies. Time for a plan. <laughs> what a headache. There's always a weakness. I've been monitoring the dark web. I barely managed to stop the video from spreading. The incident hasn't grown any bigger, for now. How are things with you? <sighs> Less than promising. Or to use a different phrase, we're in deep trouble. We're running out of time. Let's retrace our steps and evaluate the situation. From the data we've collected, there are three avenues we can explore. Can I run off questioning? No, First, okay. Adler's disappearance. He must have come across some vital information. The next angle is what the victims have in common, as tasteful as that discussion may be.
distasteful discussion. A mere glance at their background would indicate they share no commonalities. However, after browsing through their online records, you discovered they all wield influence on the space station's dark web. Lady Asta must know what this means. Hmm. The next angle is what the first Adler's disappearance. He must. I understand. This is tenuous connect first. Adler's disappearance. He must have come across some. I understand. Tenuous okay, connection first. Adler one, also. I just want to like quickly push on to like this face frame thing because it's probably really that. Uh... You think that Adler's discovery drew the enemy's attention? Indeed, and I already know what he found. First, Adler's dis- The next and last is the abilities of Duke Inferno and the secret of spontaneous human combustion. You probably already know about this. The fire demon of Fatora, the Duke of the Annihilation Gang. There is another secret with Ifrit. Last. Is the abilities of Duke. During prior unrest instigated by the Everflame Mansion, some testified to seeing miscreants materialize from the Inferno. The flickering tongues of Duke Inferno's fire carrying a certain property, and this property is the secret behind spontaneous human combustion. Look. The answer is right there. This booklet describes a kind of fire that can phase through dimensions, claiming it burns through worlds, leaving numerous scions of flame behind. I understand. Tenuous connection. This book, the kindling of this unique flame, must be the missing curio that Hurt has been searching for and Duke Inferno is evidently spawned from it. I fear that this is the truth Adler discovered. Undoubtedly, the Curio Herda asked to find was the Phase Flame. Okay, my guess was right with this at least. And Adler already discovered the relationship between spontaneous human combustion and the phase flame through the concept of energy life forms. I fear that this is the truth Adler discovered. When Schurling said, Adler kept muttering about a phrase before he disappeared. I believe this word was actually phase. He saw member 29 Sir Call's research topic in this booklet and verified his hypothesis. As a scion of the phase flame, Duke Inferno would naturally share similar capabilities. Full on phase shifting may be a bit too ambitious for him, but teleportation, that's likely more his speed. That is the truth of the spontaneous human combustion. The researchers didn't disappear. They were moved. We don't know where the victims went, but Duke Inferno's plan is now clear. And the sudden and consecutive disappearances provided the best environment for chaos to fester. Once the seed of unrest has sprouted, he will then send out an announcement for an imminent attack. It will push the crisis from the dark into the light, catalyzing it into new growth and bloom. The next step would be to ignite the spark. Look at those researchers who disappeared. What would happen if someone realized their similarities? I need say no more. It was all a premeditated trap to stir up chaos on the space station. We're running out of time. Mm, I wonder what the 
let's do some signatures uh, of the demonstration. Conspiracy, blah blah blah. Okay, that'd be good in sync. This. No, it isn't enough. Indeed, it needs one more spark. What do you mean? If you limit your involvement to this, there's still room for excuses. If it were me, I wouldn't give you the chance. Uh, uh, could it be? Huh? What is it? <laughs> Stay calm. Asta was merely teleported. Her life was not in danger. Based on first-hand experience, I have ascertained that Ifrit's flame is simply a splinter of the primordial phase flame, lacking any phase shift ability. Logic. Asta is still within the confines of the space station. That flame must still be somewhere inside the station. Find it. And we'll find a way to bring her back. <laughs> a splinter, you say? The arrogance of the gifted is charming in its own way. Try then if you must. It seems that Duke Inferno didn't deign to personally grace the space station. He merely cast infernal fire into our midst to wreak havoc among the researchers. When the fire fizzles out, his malevolent plans will vanish without a trace. I will head to Herta's office and activate the folded space in the Curio storage room. With some changes to its parameters, I can use it to block the fire's teleportation routes and seal it inside the station. Mr. Ratio, please go with Mr. Trailblazer and contain the fire. Okay, looks like we got a blam. She must include Dr. Ratio. What does he mean, skill set? Target, use the skill for every debuff on the target as crit rate increases. Good, or she has to finish all of the things as Tiger at uh, Let's skip the formalities, Silver Wolf. I'm always game for putting on a show. Is you doing that was and because I put it in the same team as Silver Wolf? If so, interesting. Again, dry does. The infernal fire is also a form of energy life form. The imaging device will pick up its trace. Follow it. The way is awash with flames. It must have just teleported. Be careful. Get ready to dash into the fire. 
Opponent's base results from the spatial distortion during a spread of the internal fire, trying to pass through it may result in a shift in spatial coordinates when you transport is somewhere unexpected. The opponent's base that has the space station used to counter escape periods that can effectively cut off space to handle standard travel. Uh. See? It's still in the space station. Like Skrullum said, it cannot escape from here. This task okay. Do you know what to do with cornered prey? Hunt it to the death. Resisting. The fold in the space has shifted. I can deduce its escape route with a mere glance. Ow. Nothing to do with you. The flame is getting weaker. Duke Inferno can't maintain it anymore. to do it from the right side, okay. Or I did just change them again, okay. What is your goal? <laughs> Seems like this chase is about to end. It's over. Ignorant fools blindly chasing the firelight, not knowing that the blessings of destruction already lie at their feet. It is little wonder that even the descent of the Savior's Legion was unable to cleanse this place. I will acknowledge my brashness. Now, but next time, expect no intermediaries. I will come to personally offer you the demise of your sins with infernal fire. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> A small fragment of consciousness in there is gone. Duke Inferno has discarded this fire. Oh? No. 
Hold on. Banal theatrics of stalling. Let's not. Shall we? Test. <laughs> More enemies. Time for a plan. <laughs> Say bye to breathing. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. I'm asking questions. Test. Zero points. Say bye to breathing. Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. But, uh... I see through you. Together as one. Your hands. So this is the extent of Miss Green's materializing from the Inferno. Seems like Dr. Primitive wasn't wrong. S.A.S. Perkibi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Answer me. You took the bait. weakening. It's preparing to flee. You, keep your eye out for Lady Asta's whereabouts. Can I have fun? Time for a fun. <laughs> Good times never last. Oh, that's what's wrong with him, man. Ah. Time to say bye. Boom. This combat needs Optima. <laughs> this is double speed. A quick divination. May as well kill them all. Zero points. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. You took the bait. I guess we got a sir. Good work. You did very well. Rest assured, Asta only had a fright. She is recovering in the clinic. While you were chasing the enemy, the security department also found the missing researchers. Affirmation. 
They are all safe and sound. It was all thanks to Adler. They fell into a spatial curio and could not leave until the Department of Ecology's most knowledgeable curio expert solved it from within. Many of them were shaken by their experience when Arlen found them, but they are otherwise fine. Yes, it is over. <laughs> kind of unsatisfactory and not gonna lie. This business is over, and I believe the space station will be able to deal with any internal aftershocks. In her stead, I thank you for your efforts, sir. But there is one mystery that remains unsolved. <laughs> and that is something I must deal with myself. Okay. I've been waiting. Oh? Fallout from this incident remains. Surely you have plenty of pressing matters to attend to. Or is the safety of the space station beneath your concern? Answer. That is exactly why I came. After all, the principal figure in this whole affair is right here. <laughs> when did you start to doubt me? When one is immersed in academic research, skepticism comes far more naturally than belief. I've had the same bad habit as you since the beginning, Mr. Ratio. I must say, I'm quite honored, Mr. Scrulum. But do explain, why opt for silent wisdom when you already had the pieces of the puzzle? For curiosity's sake, affirmation. I made the same decision as you, to accompany and observe. Oh, and when did you become convinced? Objectively speaking, Aside from some minor spiritual trauma, no researchers were hurt in this attack, which never aligned with the Annihilation Gang's modus operandi. Logic, a third party saved them. Had I not fortuitously acquired a spark of the Phase Flame and intervened in Duke Inferno's teleportation, those people would already be space waste floating past the windows here. You are more candid than I calculated. But still behaving within your calculations, no? One last question, Scrulum. Genius though you are, can you deduce why I did this? I cannot be sure and can only hypothesize. Helping the weak hints at the merciful instinct of a medical doctor, but maintaining a cool, detached observation reveals the strictness of a scholar. And pulling the strings from behind the curtain is akin to laying down the gauntlet to a genius. The ruler of planet Scrulum is indeed well versed in the human mind. It's a pity you're as much in the ivory tower as other geniuses. You still got one thing wrong. To stand aside and observe is the best treatment one can give. There is a disease called foolishness that is harder to cure than any ailment. The path of erudition has neither reason nor logic. While geniuses wander among the stars, the ordinary can't even trace their footsteps. 
Those less gifted have no choice but to walk alone, enduring a lifetime of tumbles and triumphs. But even a life marked by failure is a life worth living. It is only in moments of solitude and despair, when help is absent, that fools grasp how to pick themselves up. I have a fastidious nature. I cannot stand fools, idiots, or imbeciles. Seeing them fills me with dread. Regrettably, this space station is just like the Intelligentsia Guild, devoid of geniuses and filled with mediocrity. You wish to uproot the researchers' blind worship of geniuses. I am only laying out my questions. As for the answers, they'll find them themselves. Pursuit tinged with negativity is still pursuit, and it is capable of leading us to the right conclusion. For the masses of the mediocre to reach a level of awareness, this is a necessary rite of passage. You are indeed more like a medical doctor than a scholar. As for the spark I leave behind, I believe Asta will deal with it properly. It is also a lesson I left for her. With that, I take my leave. I look forward to future encounters with such brilliant minds. Let's hope they're as memorable as those we had today. <sighs> A farce full of trivial concerns. Ultimately, they're just mediocre minds. Why is he becoming a wizard because of this? Christian store can I actually access this door now. He just looks like it. Very rust server for me. Wow. I just know one of those know about this little courage here. Um, 
Ah, oh, there he is. How quaint. A space so meticulously curated just for my refined tastes. I suppose it might do for moments of reflection. Perhaps the best part is that even with so many present, there's a delightful scarcity of simpletons. That was a compliment. As a nameless who's always on the road, constantly meeting with various characters, don't these encounters become wearisome? It's no small feat. The average person is easily swayed by their environment, after all. Go ahead and try. With this mask on, I intend to keep the world at bay. You're currently not wearing a mask. Okay, let's check uh, this out then. Okay, have a robot. Trying, trying components, the creation, mass motion, more creation, so to insufficient sample size. Okay, new creation is neutral, new trade is discovered. So we're just like reading things, I guess. Configuration profile you have already been placed in your inventory. It looks like it's in this gray, it's filling as pink. These base rates all have a chance of being inherited by new creations. Can I open the base traits of two prior creations with a random chance of being inherited by a new creator? Okay. We get a completely grave, eh? Yay. <laughs> Did it just get like flushed away? Oh, we actually have to chase it down. Oh, come on. What's happening with it? Oh, it transformed. You mutated trash. Uh, life 
from born in a trash can. Okay. I really nurtured a new batch of creations. The trade of this batch are extremely unique. I don't know where the special traits are actually coming from. Oh, you want to get those golds. Okay. Uh -huh. I really want this green and gray button. Got new plantation trade, okay. Rice dumbling. I was supposed to take a photo of it. Looks just like they've done it. Wow. <laughs> I mean, we're literally right now creating that data. Okay, let's pin this one. Do you have like any like Okay. You're gonna be used to nurturing. Uh remove you and put you in. Do you have like any like limiters or uh, am I just going for it until I'm done with this?
I'll just keep pushing this for as long as it like lets me. an ice cake. Oh, this is like going to be like someone who looks like March 7th. This is gonna be the thing now. Yep. Okay, now I need to progress the mission. Well, let's just view it as a bit coldly, I guess. You may place your favorite creation in different areas. Some creations tend to get along better when placed together. Good and chill, I guess. A delicious bean cake. Right, then see if it's the rest.
probably like the pooping area. This is also a place to restock okay. Okay. We're getting this stuff. And what are we looking for next? Okay, we don't want it. And you, I guess. Oh no, it's just like weird in your eyes. Okay. Lambda's friend, okay. What's that supposed to be like the number two? Maybe world? No, oh, roommate, okay. this I guess. Still have the same path. You got your eyes, okay.
Can we get a sesame cake? This looks like blade. We actually sending this picture to Blight. <laughs> of course, the real world is matching for Blight. I do want the civil war, the civil war cat now, though. Uh, okay, we already got the one which kind of was like the. Hmm. We already got this eyes one. Okay, I do need an orange head. I don't have an orange kitten yet. Let's get an orange kitten with this. Yeah, it does not feel appropriate for Blade to do that. Oh wait, I totally did like the wrong trade I wanted to go for. an eye patch. Okay. I think I that we got I just has the eyes we are looking for. Okay. Yep, I'm breeding weird cherry kittens. I guess. This is good night, then. I mean, they look cute, but I'm still like, what the fuck are these things?
Okay. Why would Peppy look for us? Um. This is a big boy now. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be better. Huh? Oh, I like those extra. Oh, I actually can put them here. Shoot here, I guess. Uh, I guess I'm gonna put, put blades where you can eat. There you go. Rings also are weird. Oh, this is just such a. F Let's be like this now. Close and control. Permit to explore the current area by avoiding the muscles along the way. Missing more of a kite or a crunching gun gun grains. Okay. I mean, it can be cute and weird. One thing is not necessarily like contradicting the other. As I said, we are doing good stuff on our space station. Yeah, and that's like very Huh. More enemies. I haven't done the highest difficulty on like um or strong disaster. Because I haven't like got all like the path buffs and such yet. And I've actually like been building up a follow up to to. party Let's and finish um, this. um dot party for some of like the missions. Time for a <laughs> so you are afraid of me. But like those parties are those two parties are not like the dot party isn't fully ready yet. You'll pay for this. <laughs> Who's next? I'll end your misery. <laughs> Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Can I have fun? Oh, well, we can talk with Peppy now. I do feel like it's not a good thing that we can talk to Happy now. <laughs> uh,
Okay, it's a, okay no, it's a sweet mode thing. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh well, we are just like literally standing here on the phone, controlling Pevy. <laughs> Actually, cool DJ, not gonna lie. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. This is not that hard. the bar, don't pet me. This recovery again. Uh, I think it's something we need to pay attention to. Not really. Hello there. Wait, will this get me out of this, or...? Okay, why is it giving me this reach? Do I just ignore this optional quest then, or what? Anyway. I will actually be... continuing this event stuff another time. And I'm also will actually be looking into... This golden gear is similar to the universe stuff. I haven't done that yet as well. But I do get to end the stream here now. But before I do that, let's see if I can find some to raid. None of the people I usually rate is online. So. Oh, 
But yes, I am actually quite hungry at the moment. I will also be like going to eat dinner in a bit. I'm not sure who I'm gonna should raid and to drop you off with. It's not really, I'm not really finding any more way actually I can just end the game. Will be a nice to raid. Yeah, but I'll also like, so um, look for someone who's like into the scene to raid. And uh, like, well, I guess I'll actually like know a bit. Um. Yeah, usually they have like already people who I follow or usually way to or also would be good to write but yeah. No one's online currently. I'm gonna throw you over since you like um play on I think you should throw it out here. I'm gonna throw you over to someone streaming right now. Who's actually just starting off with the game as it looks like. And yeah. Of that. That will be ending the stream here. I do hope you enjoyed it. I know Shana does as always. <laughs> and yeah. Enjoy a nice new year's for those who celebrate it. And don't get into any trouble with like blasting yourself off with any kind of fireworks, please. Do be cautious if you do handle fireworks this year. I do wish to see you again in the next year. <laughs> so yeah. Be nice in a raid. Have a nice Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Enjoy your time. And another 10, I will hopefully see you next year. Bye bye.